All right, so today what we're gonna do is uh, we are moving a couple beehives. It's uh, a little later in September. And um, our goal is to move these two, a little later, it's early in September. And our goal is to move these to a, uh, a location where there's a lot more flowers. Therefore, the nectar flow is a little better for them. Um, I know this is not very, uh, I only move in a couple hives, this is not how most people do them, but I just put this little bit of mesh on the front, it's just window screen, it doesn't keep them all in, helps keep them for the most part tidied up, still allows good ventilation, and then what we're going to do, so these ladies aren't going to be happy because it's a rainy morning, that's why we're doing this, but we're gonna sit there in the front of this lid here, right there, there's a groove, which we use for air out of that hole. And you can see the ladies in there, yep. So all we're gonna do is just pop this lid around. So that they can't get out that hole. Let me see how they're doing in there. They look good, all right. And just a little bit of a little bit of water over that as well. So we can see what's going on here. We're just gonna cover this top hole up quickly. That way they can't fly out of that. All right. Next thing we are going to do, let's see, is uh, just to keep this nice and tight, covered up, is we put a rat strap around them. All these rat straps really doing is uh, when we move it around, transport it, allowing it to not fall apart, stay nice and tight. We don't want the bees to be all disturbed. So we're only moving a couple of hives today. Uh, the whole idea behind moving the hives is we have 13 of them here, uh, which is not a lot. More than a lot of people just have one or two if they have them. Uh, we're not commercial by any means. But the reason that we're moving these couple is because uh, it gives them a little bit more of a chance to forage when there is more flowers for them so we just did that um, that way we can kind of spread out what they're what they're feeding on um, right now is a good time of year for all that it's called goldenrod a lot of people you can see it on the side of the road here at upstate new york it's a, a weed with yellow flowers on it um, it looks like a weed to us bees absolutely love that it's a huge nectar source for them. Um, they strongly depend on that this time of year. All right, so these bees are doing pretty good. Bringing up top. Um, let's see, right there. You can see them in there. Uh, this is just became September. Last week, August, we, uh, we put treatment in these guys. Help with the mites. Mites are really bad, they kill them. You can see down in that hive. Get this wrapped up as well. Come on, ladies, go on in there. All right. 
There's gonna be a couple stragglers, but they will be okay. They're always just gonna be. If anything, they will go to the next hive and find a spot for themselves. Come on, come on. All right. I'm gonna put a lid on that one. Wrap it up. We got a couple more to do. We're moving four of them today. Alright, so, these ladies are not very happy today, uh, it's rainy, they don't like to be rain, and I did not smoke them, I thought it would be a quick move, but, got wrong, let's go get some smoke. So, we're at the new location, and oh, yeah, there's a couple, and uh, we're going to move some of these hives to their new home. All right, let's see if we can get that. All right, so, we're up on this, top of this, you see quite a good dry drop, and uh, the way we're going to situate these is this is not our property it is it's my father's but we aren't going to be here permanently so i'm going to have them they can come off either side off that drop they're not in his way when he mows the lawn and uh strap. and they can have Access to a lot more flowers here. Not as much competition between the hives. All right, what we're gonna do? We're gonna just take some of this entrance. We're gonna just move some of this. We're not gonna take it all the way off. And the reason for that is one, they're not staying here, and two. We want them to be able to be able to protect their hive while they're in a heavy flow. Do the same thing up on the top. Since we took that screen. And we want them to be able to travel in and out. Hey, there you go, ladies. By the way, I say ladies because almost all these are lady worker bees. That's bees inside the hive. Um, this hive was queenless. They lost their, their queen. We introduced a new queen into her. And I just kind of want to see how she's doing. If I can find her or evidence of her. Uh, they're stacking a lot of bee bread. There's our queen right there. Alright, good. So they're in here. She's here. Glad that is there. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. We're gonna close her back up. Let these ladies go and forge. them a few weeks before we come back so just to show you we have them here they like said we leave that entrance they're all gonna be flying around now be crazy because they're in a new spot they have to leave their hive they have to go find little areas around then they have to make their scent to bring them back to that hive so they're gonna kind of come out circle around see where they are it's called an orientation flight all right we'll see you in a little while 